Today I thought I'd uh, shoot a piece of video about these uh, little survival axes. You see these um, in different places. I've seen them in Walmart marketed under the, um, I believe, the Ozark Trail brand. Um, Smoky Mountain Knife Works offers them under Elk Ridge. Even uh, UST uh, Survival Technologies marketed uh, one for a while. I, I don't know if they still do. This particular one is um, company that uh, goes by protocol but the bottom line is they're all made uh, probably in China by the same company they're just marketed differently uh, I find these to be pretty handy this is uh, to my mind kind of reminiscent of an axe that was um, prominent in uh, colonial America called a bag axe and it was a very small uh, axe that was used expressly for small tasks like uh, chopping kindling or maybe quartering up animals uh, to prepare for the stew pot. Uh, it was lightweight and small and um, usually was carried uh, in a uh, sheath that was uh, sewn onto the back of the rifleman's uh, bullet pouch or possible's bag. So uh, not a tomahawk and not a full-sized axe but just really a a useful little axe for uh, camp type purposes. Um, this has a four inch cutting blade and uh, it's about 10 inches in overall length so it's very compact. I mean I can put this in my haversack and just carry it around and I don't have to have it thumping on my side. Um, they usually come with a fairly poor um, cord wrapping the handle. I've replaced this handle with a uh, good paracord and these are actually two um, boot laces sized to my hiking boots that um, if I needed I could just unravel it and pop them apart and uh, put new laces on my boots. It has a very narrow hammer pawl about uh, 5 30 seconds of an inch uh, in width but um, it will will drive nails if need be and uh, probably might be able to lever it out of there. Well, anyway. You've also got this hook back here. It's supposed to be like a line cutting hook. I don't find it very good for that. It's hard to sharpen. But uh, what you can do with it is you can, you can make your fire by dragging your ferrule rod through it. Just like that. Got your tinder. You drag your ferro rod right through that. I've tried it with these uh, goofy wrenches that they uh, have. The, they have these hex wrenches. I've never used these for anything. I have uh, cleaned this one up up here to remove the paint so that it would facilitate throwing sparks. And it will do it. But it's a little slippy. This is much better up here. Crush that out. So, made a tent stake earlier with it. Very handy for just shaping your, your stake out. Putting a point on it. You can also do push cuts. You can just hold it, choke up on it here, put your thumb on the back of the pole right there. And you can do pretty good controlled work. Put a nice point on that. Not that you need a really sharp point but uh, it will do the work. comes with um, a sheath, just a, 
a blade cover really. Just snapped in like that. I put a piece of paracord on the back of mine so I can put a carabiner and just carry it on a pack if I want to on the outside. Um, not much else to say. It's a, it's a decent enough axe for just small purposes. And they're pretty cheap. The Elk Ridge one from Smoky Mountain Knife Works goes for about $8, I believe. So if you're just looking for something light for your uh, camping uh, tool chest, or maybe you just want something to have with you on the trail, uh, you might look at, at one of these. I think they're a reasonable little tool that you can use. So check them out. All right, we'll talk to you later.